Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna show you how to easily install Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi using nothing but a Raspberry Pi. In the past, we needed a Windows PC to get this working properly, but with this new script from BotSpot, we can do this all on the Raspberry Pi while running Raspberry Pi OS. So before we get started, there are a few things you're going to need. Obviously, you'll need a Raspberry Pi. I recommend a Raspberry Pi 4, and it'll need to be running Raspberry Pi OS from the micro SD card or an external drive. I mean, it really doesn't matter as long as you have an operating system up and running on the Pi. Next thing you'll need is another drive to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 to. You can use another SD card, a USB drive, or you can use an external hard drive, be it an M.2 or a 2.5 inch SSD. I'm going to be using a 240 gigabyte PNY SSD along with a J-Micron SATA to USB adapter that I picked up on Amazon. I'll leave links for this in the description. So if you're ready to get started, let's move over to the Raspberry Pi running Raspberry Pi OS. All right, so if you're ready to get Windows 10 or Windows 11 up and running on your Raspberry Pi using nothing but the Raspberry Pi, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I'm running Raspberry Pi OS. I am fully up to date. I've gone through terminal, run the update and everything like that. Next thing I wanted to show you was I do have my SSD plugged into my Raspberry Pi using that J Micron USB adapter I showed you at the beginning of the video. And the final thing you're going to need here is an internet connection, be it Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. The link for this will be in the description. This is the BotSpot WOR Flasher GitHub page. Makes it really easy to get this up and running with nothing but a Raspberry Pi. And I do want to mention it one more time. You can use a USB drive, an extra micro SD card, or what I would suggest is an SSD with one of these adapters. It just makes an SSD go to USB. Everything you need to know is located here. I would highly recommend reading through it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to go all the way up to the top here. We're going to open up a terminal. And first things first, we're going to go ahead and install the WOR Flasher. To manually download it, we're just going to copy this, paste it right over. And mine was already installed, so I'm going to go ahead and run it with this. WOR Flasher forward slash install WORGUI.SH. And once it's up and running, we're going to get a pop-up window that looks like this. Very easy to use. Install. I want to run Windows 11, but you can also run Windows 10. I'm going to choose Windows 11. And since I'm on a Raspberry Pi 4, I'm going to make sure I have Raspberry Pi 4 chosen. This also works with the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and Pi 400, but I would recommend at least a Pi 4, 2 gigabyte model. We'll choose Next. From here, we can choose our language. I'm going to go with English, United States. And now it's going to populate our drive list. I'm going to be using that SSD, so this is the one that's showing up. But if you have a USB drive or an extra micro SD card installed, it'll show up in this list. But I'm going to be flashing to this J Micron USB adapter. I'll choose Next. And it's going to give us our installation overview. There are a few things that we can change in here, but uh, I found that just leaving it like it is works out really well on the Raspberry Pi 4. Hardware type, Pi 4. Operating system, Windows 11. We're using the ARM64 version. And we can go ahead and flash it. Now this does take a little while to flash because it needs to download all the files and extract them on the Raspberry Pi using the quad-core CPU that we have in the Raspberry Pi 4. Overclocking your Pi 4 will help out with speed a bit, but it's going to take about an hour to an hour and a half to get this installed on your external drive from the Raspberry Pi 4. But once it's finished up, it'll automatically close terminal down and give you a window that looks like this. It just gives you a few extra steps to get this started up on your Raspberry Pi 4. Let's go ahead and move back over to my desk and we'll start this up for the first time. All right, so here we are with the Raspberry Pi. I've got the SSD plugged into a free USB port on the Raspberry Pi. I've also got a keyboard and a mouse connected. I'm going to remove my micro SD card I had Raspberry Pi OS running on and plug the power in. I'm going to grab my keyboard and we're going to get into the boot settings by pressing escape while the Pi is booting up for the first time. This is going to be booting from that SSD. We're going to get into Windows 11 in just a second, but we do need to change a few settings in here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. It's actually really easy to take care of. So grab your keyboard. You're going to use the arrow keys to navigate. Device Manager. Raspberry Pi Configuration. From here, we need to change the Display Configuration. We're going to go to 720p. So we'll make sure this is checked. And we're going to uncheck Native Resolution. Once that's done, press Escape on your keyboard. It'll bring us back. 
We also have CPU configuration settings, but since we manually changed this, the default is going to be 2 GHz because I am overclocked. There's one last thing we need to do, and that's enable all of the RAM on our Raspberry Pi. I have a 4 GB model here, so we're going to go to Advanced Configuration, and at the very top, we want to disable Limit to 3 GB. This is going to use all the RAM on your Pi, be it 4 gigs or 8. Depends on what Pi model you have. We'll press Escape, press Y to save the changes. We'll escape a few more times. Continue. Enter. And now it's going to start to boot Windows 11. Now the first boot of Windows 11 can take a little while because it does need to extract some files. And running it from an SSD will be much faster. You'll notice running this from a micro SD card is going to be a bit slow. But the next thing you'll see is the initial Windows 11 setup. You're just going to walk through it. It'll give you all the information you need. It's just like setting up a brand new PC. You'll have to set up a name for your Raspberry Pi 4. I just use Pi 4. Set up a password. You can disable location access and everything like that if you'd like to. And once you're finished with the setup, you'll be running Windows 11 or Windows 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. And we set all of this up using the Raspberry Pi only running Raspberry Pi OS. This just makes it a lot simpler to get Windows up and running on your Raspberry Pi. Because in the past, in order to get all of this up and running, we needed a separate PC running Windows to get this installed on our external drive to run it on our Raspberry Pi. So when it comes to running Windows on the Raspberry Pi, you're still going to run into a few issues. This is very early software. This is more for development or just to play around with. And in order to get internet on the Raspberry Pi 4, we still have to use Ethernet. But it's still a pretty cool little setup to see it running on an ARM device like this. When it comes down to it, personally, I would rather use a separate PC to install Windows on a drive that I can boot up on my Raspberry Pi because it definitely saves some time. If you have a decent PC, it can kind of power through getting all of that downloaded and installed to that drive much faster than the Pi can. But if you don't have access to another PC, then this is definitely a great option. But if you've already got a PC laying around and you just want to install it from that, I've got a full tutorial. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But either way you look at it, I still think this is a great option. And I do want to give a big shout out out to BotSpot for coming up with the WOR Flasher because when I initially did my uh, tutorial video on getting Windows set up on your Raspberry Pi, I had a lot of people asking, can't I just use the Pi to do it? I don't have access to another PC. And at the time, it was really the only way to get it installed. But now with the new WOR Flasher, it's totally possible to do. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. All links for everything I mentioned are in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.